Hello everybody and welcome back to our Cleveland Browns player franchise. Today we are at the end of the 2016 NFL season. We will be transition, transi transitioning, it's hard to say words like that, into the 2017 NFL season. I don't know how far we'll get into the offseason, but um, Browns, yeah, 2-14. We got them their two wins, their only two wins, and well, uh, that's the plus side of our first year in the NFL. Obviously, I would have liked for it to gone better, but um, yeah, it just didn't. So we're just gonna advance, and I again, I don't know how far we'll get, but we are gonna get XP this video, and that will actually go a long way so hopefully we get to upgrade our guy at any point and with instant starter off remember at the beginning of the season instant starters turned off that's why we didn't play till week four or five six somewhere in there joining a new team might might not benefit us now, we are under contract for, I believe, three or four years. I believe it's four. So after that contract is up, maybe we're hopefully a mid-80 overall. Uh, then we'll move somewhere else. We might move somewhere else. Or if the Cleveland Browns get good all of a sudden on defense, we might just stay here. But guys, here we go. We've already advanced to the Super Bowl. And I don't know who's in it. I don't know anything. So let's take a look together at the playoff schedule. And uh, let's see who's where. It looks like Patriots and Saints are in the Super Bowl. So congratulations, New Orleans. I hope they win. Patriots, yeah, they're in it again. No surprise. So wild card weekend. Let's see who had a chance to go. Kansas City, Cincinnati, New Orleans, Washington, Buffalo, Jacksonville, and Green Bay and Arizona. Green Bay lost to Arizona. Jacksonville got handed a loss by Buffalo. New Orleans played in the wild card game. I would assume they were a wild card team. Um, they they've come from all the way from a wild card weekend. So, congratulations to the Saints. Patriots probably uh you know just didn't have to worry about that. Not like they ever do though. You know, not like they ever do. And then Kansas City handed Cincinnati another playoff loss so still Cincinnati won this in the playoffs then in the divisional round New England easily handed Buffalo a loss New Orleans had to play Minnesota and get a one that time by six Kansas City second straight week of an easy victory and then Atlanta beat Arizona in the conference the Chiefs and the Patriots matched up New England almost got beat, but Kansas City cannot finish the job. 45-42 New England. And then New Orleans beat out Atlanta 38-35. And that's what's led up to the Patriots and Saints Super Bowl. So we'll advance past here. We'll see who wins the Super Bowl. Hopefully it's the New Orleans Saints. And uh, again, we're just trying to get XP here and see what is going to happen in the offseason. Maybe we hit the draft in this video. I'm not too sure. I can't imagine this being more than a 20 minute video just because we're not dealing with anyone else. We're playing it by ourselves. And it looks like the Super Bowl champions are hopefully New Orleans. But uh, let's see. It wouldn't be on our league schedule. It would probably be under news and... Tom Brady retired. Well, virtually he's gone. Let's see if they actually won the Super Bowl, though. I do not see anything. And yes, they did win. 37-31 over New Orleans. So unfortunately, New England, even virtually, wins Super Bowls by one possession. Thank you, Elena, for those memories. But Tom Brady officially retired. That'd be great if he did it in real life. I know that's going to start something, but that'd be great if he could retire in real life. Give Garoppolo a chance. The kids got what it takes, I believe. But now we are in the stages of the offseason, so we are just going to advance stage by stage. 
literally nothing is going to happen except possibly gain XP or maybe not even that but again we are under contract and we probably will do the NFL draft only the Browns pick just because why not and then you know we will uh We'll go from there. We'll start the preseason. In the next video, I will show you the preseason highlights probably. And then we'll jump into the 2017 season. It's going to be a challenge this year. We're starting from scratch. Hopefully, Cleveland does not take a quarterback in the <laughs> draft that is about to happen. And if they do, let's hope he's 75, and over, 75 overall lower, but for a first round pick, if I was Cleveland, I would go defense. Honestly, I would. I just do not think they have any defensive help. And obviously, it showed last year. Obviously, it showed. So, without all that stuff, let's get into the draft. Let's just advance the week to the draft. Let's see who Cleveland takes in probably eight or nine picks because they have just so many picks every single year. I want to say it's not their fault, but... Yeah, I don't know. It really is. So we will start the NFL draft, and uh, we will see who the Cleveland Browns take. So let's skip ahead to the draft. Let's go to the next pick. And then we take a right end. So that's very interesting. We take a right end. So let's go to drafted. And Dontarius Moody, a 4-3 one-stopper out of Nebraska, the Cornhusker, 79 overall, 89 strength, 88 tackle, 87 pursuit. He is 317 and 6 foot 3. Very interesting pick, but right end in defense, like I said, we need it. We definitely need it. So let's jump to the number 10 pick and let's skip ahead. We take a wide receiver this time. So now we have wide receiver help. And his name will be Brandon Hollier out of USC, South Carolina Trojan. He's a speed receiver, 178, 5 foot 9, 78 overall, 96 acceleration, 91 agility, 89 speed. I like that we have new targets to go to. Uh, that actually excites me a lot. And um, yeah. Hopefully we can utilize him in the upcoming season. Round two, pick one. We take a strong safety, Jeffers. Let's see what his stats are. We're probably going to have a couple picks here. And, uh, you know, deservedly so, Cleveland. Just give us picks, right? 76 overall, Michigan State, a zone coverage guy. 5'11". That's a little scary for strong safety. 92 excel, 91 hit power, 89 speed. We don't care too much on hit power. It's more of tackling as a rookie. Uh, you want to have good tackle stats, but he looks solid, so we're not going to argue that. Pick number 43 in round number two. Actually, pick 11. Sorry. Maybe that was pick uh, two last time out. Let's go ahead and skip to the next pick, and we take another strong safety. So maybe we weren't happy with the first strong safety pick. Maybe we thought this guy was going to be better. And we'll see if he is. And he is literally the same, except one overall less. However, he is six foot, 213. He is from Oregon, and he is a prototype type of strong safety. So, I don't... Dimitri Purifoy, I believe that's how you say his name. I actually like him better than our first strong safety pick. So... We'll skip ahead and we will go to the next user pick round three pick number one so it was pick one i can't do math for some reason let's see what we take we take a free safety this time so a lot of safeties in this draft for us i don't know how i feel about that 69 overall 92 hit power 90 acceleration 89 agility from rucker university a run support that could be big so far, he's our only threat of stopping the run. I know zone can, you know, have its advantages on blitzes and stuff. And a prototype is not bad, but a true run support guy is definitely good for the team. So, welcome to the team. Third safety picked up, and we will sim to pick 
number wow okay so we actually didn't get a pick at all in round well the rest of round three or round four so a lot of trading we did haven't taken a quarterback that's good news for us maybe we will in rounds five six or seven but round five pick one let's go ahead let's see who we get and we get I actually don't know who we got maybe we traded down did we trade down it looks like yeah we actually traded down with it looks like the Dallas Cowboys so they took a middle linebacker in our spot and uh, we get their pick so let's see where we go we actually get a not a round five pick I thought we would get a round five pick there so next pick we get a right outside linebacker all right so now we're moving inside to the linebacker territory let's see how he is 67 overall I don't expect much from a round number six guy. He is from Florida International. He is a run stopper as well. So our past two picks have been true run support, run stopper, however you want to word that. He has 87 tackle, 86 acceleration, 81 speed, 61, 244, Earl Moreland. That's a very solid grade on paper as you're looking at it for a round six. Uh, good across the board stats and that excites me I again stop the run I know pass is definitely one thing but stop the run first and it will lead to the passing game so with that said skip ahead to our next user pick round six pick 14 I believe this is where we're gonna get all our picks this draft we're gonna advance the pick and we get a defensive tackle Hester not Devin Hester, but maybe Devin Hester's brother. Probably not, though. Let's go ahead and view him in our draft board. Pick number 7, 87 tackle, 86 excel, 81 speed. Or, no, defensive tackle, sorry. Uh, out of Alabama. So, we get a Alabama Crimson Tide. I'm sure there were a lot of them that went this draft. I don't know why. Okay, it goes by overall, that's why. I was going to say, I don't know why he's number 6, but overall, he is graded higher than Earl Moreland. He has 94 stamina, 87 strength, 82 pursuit. Again, round 6, that's very solid. He's prototype, so I guess that excites everyone that's a Cleveland fan. But um, these look like solid picks. I know you can say that as many times as you want, as many years in a row as you want, but... You, you just gotta believe. Believe when is in full effect. And that is the NFL draft. So we have one more stage and then we go to preseason. So a very, very defensive heavy set draft. Cleveland Browns, probably what they wanted. Uh, I saw one wide receiver. That was it. That's all I saw on offensive side of things. So we'll advance here and then we will end it off on preseason. I don't know how long this video is right now, but guys, I hope you have enjoyed. We are actually going to end it off right after this advances, and then I will play preseason. I will show you some highlights from that, maybe all in one or just a couple highlight highlight plays, big plays that we had in preseason. But guys, that is the end of the 2016 NFL season. 2017 NFL season is here. Preseason. Week one, we play the Eagles. You guys will see some part of it or all of it. I'm not too sure yet, but guys, hopefully you did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys.